Grizzlies fans, welcome back into another Grizz Game Day update. The Grizzlies taking on the NBA defending champs today, the Denver Nuggets. This is a late game, 8 p.m. Central Time. Joining us, as always, when we play Denver is Katie Wingy. You ready for this one? I'm always ready for Nuggets and Grizzlies, Kels. Good. The holidays are over. No more Christmas Day basketball. We're getting ready for the new year. This is one of the last games of 2023 for the Grizzlies. Uh, we're starting off with... Uh, an injury report that's kind of weird because John Morant is questionable tonight because he's he has an illness. And okay. then just earlier today, Santel Dama got added to that injury report because he's also ill. Um, and apparently, I'm not in Memphis right now. I'll be going back tomorrow. But everyone in Memphis is suffering from the same illness. So everyone's just getting sick. Um, and then on your end, a little more serious, uh, Aaron Gordon will be out today after suffering. Mm -hmm. Um, like a dog attack on Christmas day. So prayers up to him. Like everyone hopes that mm -hmm. that is better. I don't even know. Like, I hope it's not as serious as it is. Sounded yeah. Out. All good. Um, look, Katie, last time we played you, there was no John Moran. And I think that's the biggest thing on our end. Right. So you guys won 108 to 104, uh, since John has been back, he's four and oh, how does that change the attack from Denver to Memphis? Honestly, Kels, it changes everything. It really does. And my dog is actually going to join in in this Zoom right now. We love that. <laughs> we love dog Zooms. Um, it it really, it truly changes everything. I mean, when you have a superstar caliber player like John ja Morant that is able to score at will whenever he wants to, um, and then you take out one of the Nuggets' best defensive players in Aaron Gordon, and obviously they wouldn't have matched up directly, but He's a versatile switching threat. He's a guy that can hang out in the paint and really make things difficult for a player like John ja Morant. So, and John's ja, ja been really good in Denver. I think I have his numbers right, almost 30 points per game, shooting 53% from the field. So he's good in the Mile High City and the Nuggets basically have to come up with a completely new game plan now that he's active. Mm -hmm. And uh, do we have an update? Is he still questionable today? I think so. That's as far as I know. Yeah, that's the last I thought. So then if we have to play these games because it's early, if Ja isn't in, um, who does that kind of like allow to shine even more for Denver? Does that make it like a bigger Nicole Jokic game, a bigger Jamal Murray game? I, I have to lean in favor of Jamal Murray just because of the matchup. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, you know this better than anybody. This Grizzlies team is so much different with Ja, like in so many shapes and forms. And so um, I think without jaw, it just allows the nuggets to be the nuggets a little bit more and not have to focus so much of their time, effort, energy, attention on defending and slowing down a player like Morant. Um, and it makes, it's less about what Memphis does and more about what Denver needs to do. So obviously that is helpful in a lot of ways. I know coach Malone would probably say it's about us regardless of who's stepping on the floor, but let's, you know, face reality here. When John Morant plays, he's a handful for any, any team in the NBA to cover. Yeah. Uh, I want to get to you guys really quick before I give you like my ending question. Uh, you guys are on a five game win streak, longest active win streak in the NBA right now, the Grizzlies four and oh, since jaw came back, let's just assume jaw is in today. Um, just for yeah, preview sake. Um, what do the Denver nuggets need to do? Like what, what has been their bread and butter this year? So they've been really good at home, 12 and two at home. Um, when it comes to a player like John Morant, you got to give him a bunch of different looks. That's in terms of how you're defending him, but also who's defending him. Contavious Caldwell Pope is putting together quite a resume for first team all NBA defense. So I would imagine that he will spend some time on Morant if he does go and KCP gets up for those types of challenges. Like he takes so much pride on that side of the floor. So um, I would imagine a, a pretty good showing from him. Um, but Denver's been really good when they, this sounds so simple, Kels, but like when they can make threes, yeah. their offense is so much more lethal. Like when they're knocking it down from deep, when teams are sending a double team to Nikola Jokic and he has teammates around him that are knocking down shots, they're virtually unstoppable. So if they can knock it down from deep, that's been a key. They've been very dominant in the paint and Joker's just you know, been doing Nikola Jokic type things. So um, more of the same, honestly, if if the Nuggets want to walk away with a win, regardless of whether John Moran is playing or not. I think these two teams are so fun because it is very much like Jamal and Ja, like at the the point yep. hard. 
Uh, and then you have like the two bigs in JJ and Nikola Jokic. And then like everyone else in between is like really, really, really good role players. I hate to Solid. call it Aaron a role player because he's an all-star. But uh, my last question to you, Katie, is going to be just the matchup, the matchup that you are excited to see tonight, assuming everyone's in. You know, assuming everyone's in, I think Ja versus whoever it is that guards him is probably what I'm most excited to see. And this this would only be his fifth game back. And obviously Memphis has been playing so well when he has returned. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm excited to see him in action if he is able to go tonight. But I do also love, I mean, selfishly as someone who covers the Denver Nuggets, I love Jaron Jackson versus Nikola Jokic because I do think that that's an intellectual challenge for JJ just as much as it is a physical challenge. I mean, Jokic is so smart in the way that he attacks him and the way, I mean, sometimes he plays off of him, but um, Jokic has been pretty good about getting him in foul trouble. And so like, can that continue to be a trend in favor of the Nuggets? I guess we'll have to kind of wait and see. All right. Someone's win streak is coming to an end again this yeah. week at 8 p.m. Central time. Katie, thank you so, so, so much. Have fun at the game tonight. I mean, go great, but also let's just hope for a really good one. I love the yeah, game. Let's hope for I love game. that we've had four good games in a row. Yes. So let's hope for a fifth. So thank you. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.